is there anything like a perfect person i feel like the term perfect or perfection is actually relative and it means different things to different people but you just don't know people have different ways of looking at a perfect person and how they can actually define perfection in a person <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is esther alexander but just call me alexis and this is her diary that you know channel that talks about lifestyle entertainment you know relationship we do everything that you actually need to live well yeah whatever you think of is here so this is the place that you need to be if you're not subscribed to this channel you're just scrolling on youtube and then you found this video please ensure to hit on that subscribe button you will never regret being here and for my returning subscribers thank you guys for being with me all the way so today we're looking at um, finding the perfect person but like i said in the introduction there is no such thing as perfect person or perfection the word or the term perfect or perfection is actually relative and it means different things to different people. There are people who look at perfection in person as in a person as the way they look, their physical appearance, the way they dress, the way they, you know, they smile, the way they are. Other people look at a person being perfect to them as the way they dress and their shape, their size and their height, you know, what how they talk, how white is their teeth you know how pointed is their nose and all that and other people look at perfection in a person as their character their attitude towards other people how they relate to people some people look at perfection in a person as you know their character the character of per, uh, the character the person actually possess does the person do things in this way or that way well others look at perfection in a person as someone who has money like you know my kind of man is a man that has money my kind of man is a man that is tall, handsome, you know, fair in complexion or dark in complexion, whatever it is. My kind of man can be someone who relates to people so well, someone who smiles a lot, someone who makes me laugh. So it all depends on what you want as a person. Why this conversation actually came up is because I was having, I was talking with my sister, my friend, but I call her my sister. And she was like, she's had this, you know, relationship with so many people and they don't treat her well or the way she wants to be treated so i'm like how exactly do you want to be treated she's like she likes a man that is so caring a man that 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 likes she likes a man that is so caring a man that can do anything or that can go extra mile but all the people she has been meeting are people who don't really care about her people who can cheat and lie in front of you even when you catch them red-handed people who can say a lot of things so i'm like okay what exactly do you want in a man i i find it so disgusting when people actually say he's my dream man she's my dream woman and then someone else is saying that what is so good about her she doesn't even look good she's not smart she's not educated she's not this she's not that she's not he's not wealthy he doesn't have money he, he sees pot belly see how dark he is he's ugly and all that and then you by your own personal standard you are actually saying the person is not good or perfect but for the person who actually chose that person as their own perfect he or she is good for them so you have to accept it like that so like i said at the beginning of this video perfection is relative perfection just like they say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder that is how perfection is in the eyes or in the in the standard of the person that actually sets that bar so if a person sets a bar and then someone has met that you know someone has hit that bar and even above that is perfect for that person that's who they, they classify as perfect or who they refer to as being perfect. All this old clamor about, oh, my Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect. There's no perfect person in anyone. It is just what you want, what you call perfection, what you call perfect. Now, for example, let me use phones as an example. For someone who is who is looking for a, a phone that has strong battery, that has that the battery life is very durable and strong. You might want to be going for options like iTel, you might be going for options like, you know, Techno, and Gioni, Lenovo, and the likes. But for someone who is looking for a phone with a very sharp camera that can actually be compared to a digital camera, 
you might want to go for an iphone or maybe some brands of samsung do you understand or even infinix higher infinix like that for someone who is looking for a phone with an operating system that is that is super fast not caring about the battery life or whatever you will go for phones like iphones samsung and other kinds of phones that are super fast then the thing is in this in this um you know brands of phones that you go for you know that they don't have everything but there's something you're looking for that this particular brand of phone has then others you might compliment for example someone who is using an iphone you're not expecting a good battery because iphones don't have good battery they don't have battery durability but they have good cameras they have fast operating system they are super fast when you're browsing with them they have other kinds of applications that you will love their software is amazing but you know that the battery life is not good so you have to complement that iphone with a power bank that's the truth and for someone who is using an infinix sometimes they are good but they don't come with good storage you know some infinix phones do not come with good storage like the storage is very low. I tell storage is super low, but then you're looking for battery. So to actually complement that kind of phone, because you already saw what you're looking for in that phone, which is a good battery. Now you know that the storage is not that big and it's not, you know, it's not something that will, that will, it's not something that you have to complement it with something. You have to look for a memory card. You have to insert a memory card that has that space, that storage, uh, you know, quality, that's that storage that you need. You can go for a 64 gig, a 128 gig, a 32 gig, depending on the capacity that the phone can actually carry. So my point is that you can't find everything in one person. But you have to understand that there's something you're looking for in one person that that person has. But then there are still other things that you might be like, oh, I wish this person has all of these things. I wish this person is beautiful, handsome, have money, tall and just good looking, has a good character. You can't find one person that has all of these things. Sometimes you might find someone that is handsome, but it doesn't have good character. You might find someone that is handsome, has money, but is so rude. And of course, you don't even enjoy the money. You might find someone that doesn't have a good heart. You might find someone that doesn't have money, that is not good looking, but he has a good heart. He can kill, die, and even worship the ground that you walk on. You can, see, these things are just relative, like I said. You cannot find one person with all of these qualities. If you eventually find someone with all of these qualities, there will still be some deficiencies and you have to complement that or you have to work on it. So that's just the truth. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. This is just what I have to say. My friend was like, can't I just find everything I want in one man? I'm like, that's like finding Jesus. <laughs> That's like finding Jesus. And even when Jesus was on earth, there are still people who don't consider him perfect. They had to crucify him. For them, he is by no standard a good man. He is by no standard a perfect person. So they still crucified him. So that's the thing. You can't find everything in one person. You can't find everything in one woman. You might, by standard of good looking, you might find a woman with the perfect shape and size. If you got eight, if you got 12, if you got 16, it's plus size whatever but you can't she might not have everything she might be a plus size like you want might be good looking fair in complexion or dark skin brown skin but then there's something that will be missing that you will be that person that will have to fix that thing that will have to insert that thing that you want you might have a man who has all the money in the world you might have a man who has so much influence and connection but then he might not be that man he might not have everything he might not tick all your list all your you know all the boxes in your list and you might also have someone that ticks all the boxes in your list but there will still be something that you still want so the truth is you can't find everything in one person but if you find that person that ticks most of your boxes the remaining one you have to complement it thank you so much guys for watching this video hope to see you guys in my next one and i hope you enjoyed the content of this video please subscribe to my channel like i'm begging you subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell and get videos a lot whenever they come please do edge be cool i beg subscribe to my channel thank you so much mm -hmm.